Hi, in this video, I will be unboxing and setting up my enclosure for my two new isopods. Can you see all those movings? As you can see here, there are quite a few springtails in the, in the cage itself. I'm pretty happy about this because springtails are quite essential for isopod enclosures, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Now, let's find some isopods. I'm not sure what species this is, but now we'll find out. This right here is my Armadillidium klugi, one of my favorite Armadillidiums. They grow quite big, they grow up to 1.5 centimeters, and I'm very excited about this species. Now, let's open up our second species. These species are called Armadillidium klugi. Um, I believe it's Montenegro. Yeah, it's from Europe, and they are gorgeous. I'll give you a closer look later. And now, let's set up. I'm going to be setting my isopods as simple as possible. There's only two materials needed, a substrate and some shelter for my isopods. Now let's go ahead and start setting up. Oh yeah, by the way, you also need two containers for my two species. First, I'll have to... Now after you have your substrate, we're going to put some, we're going to spray some water to make it hydrated. Now that I have my substrates all hydrated and ready to go, let's pour in our isopods. Now, I have all my species, all my two species of armadillidiums inside the enclosure, inside my cage where I'll be keeping all these creatures. And the next step is to put some dead leaves inside the enclosure. Now, the dead leaves will provide some very comfy shelters for them, so it's quite necessary. And it can be a food source as well. I found these on the ground near my house, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty common near your homes. So make sure to get some for your isopods. Wow, aren't these pretty? They look quite similar, by the way. Now that's basically it for the setup and the introduction of my two new isopod species. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you next time. It's giving a piggyback, right? Isn't that funny? Wow, they look so cute. They look so pretty. These are my Armadillidium klugies. I mean, these are my Armadillidium gestroi, fresh from the box. They look so beautiful. Wow, I'm so fascinated. And look at all those cute little springtails. I have six of them in this enclosure and I'm very excited. And as you can tell, there are quite a few springtails in this enclosure by the time right now. The reason why it's good to keep these springtails is because they act as a very good decomposer for isopod, um, isopod, what should I say, feces? And yeah, it's pretty good to have them, springtails. And it does fasten up the reproduction of these isopods. So yeah, a lot of people say that it's good to keep springtails. So I recommend you to keep springtails when you're keeping isopods. Oh, aren't they pretty? They're so gorgeous. Oh my god. Wow. I can't believe my eyes as I'm seeing these creatures. As you can see, the Armadillidium gesture enclosure is far more active. So if you want a very active isopod species, I do recommend you getting these Armadillidium gestures. They are super gorgeous. Aw, oh, so empty, aw. I believe that these are juvenile Armadillidium Klugi Montenegros. They look absolutely gorgeous. To be honest, they look a bit better than the Armadillidium gestures.